Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial will be on the thermal centrifuge. So first, let's take a look at what machines you will need. You will need the solid heat generator, the thermal centrifuge of course, an MFE or bat box, something to power it, and an ore washing plant. So first I'll just run you through a couple of the recipes. First, the thermal centrifuge. You will need two coils, a mining laser, an advanced machine case, four iron ingots and an electric motor will give you the thermal centrifuge. For the solid heat generator, we'll give you one you'll need a furnace, a basic machine case and a heat conductor will give you the solid heat generator. Next, for the ore washing plant, you are going to need three iron plates, two buckets, one basic machine case, an electric circuit and two electric motors will give you the ore washing plant. Also guys you are going to need a hazmat suit for this so how to make it you are going to need rubber and orange dye to get orange dye you need red and yellow flowers. So first if we just head over to the ore washing plant chuck the crushed iron ore in let it do its thing I would recommend for all these machines I'm about to show you to put some upgrades in because they're quite slow machines so I'll be back when it's almost done as you can see we're almost done now and it's giving you what we need purified crushed iron ore that's all we need now if we chuck this in the thermal centrifuge chuck that in there let it build up its heat. As you can see, it needs 15,000 heat. Sorry, guys, 1,500. And I'll be back when this machine's almost done as well. And as you can see, we're almost done. Once the heat is done, it will process the purified crush iron ore. We're almost there, guys. There you go, now it's processing it for the recipe. And it gives you one tiny pile of gold dust and iron dust as well. Now if we take these things out, chuck the fuel rod depleted uranium in. This takes 4000 and I'll be back when that's done. And as you can see the heat's almost done. And now it's processing. And the dual fuel rod depleted uranium will give you once this is done. two tiny piles of plutonium, three uranium and three iron dust. We take these out and last not but and the last one, crushed iron ore, chuck that in. Let the heat build up. Oh, it looks like we're there already guys. How about that? Huh, funny that. Do it. It gives you one tiny pile of uranium, pure uranium, and one stone dust. Take that out. And last but not least, guys, chuck the slag in. Let it do its thing, and we'll be back. And as you can see, the slag will give you one tiny pile of gold dust and five cold dust and just note the thermal centrifuge accepts up to 128 EU per tick and it consumes 24,000 EU to process one item I hope this helped you 
Thank you.